there, Janet Fritz here for Galaxy Girl Creations. Welcome to my channel. And today I have a different kind of layout for you, um, something that I don't do very often, and so I thought I would go ahead and share it. But I'm starting off with the, just a little bit of mixed media, um, creating a scene on this particular layout. And so I want to make sure that I have some background stuff taken care of, like um, the sky and the ground. So I want to have uh, this kind of bolder blue sky for this particular layout. So I am using the Distress Oxide ink in Salty Ocean and in uh, Speckled Egg just to have a little added like grayness to it. And then I am going to do the ground and I'm using some dilution sprays and I'm not at home so I just sprayed it into this plastic baggie and then I kind of like cup it with my hand inside and obviously I don't even have my water with me so I'm using my water bottle and um, I'm just spreading it around. It doesn't have to be pretty, it doesn't have to have any particular look to it because the majority of it is going to get covered up and I already know that um, so I'm just kind of adding some color and I don't really care about that white swatch right down the middle um, or right across the middle because I am going to cover that up. Now I printed out these printables um, from Star Jam for Kids and they are an Etsy shop and they have some really beautiful creations. So for this particular one I chose to use dinosaurs because Noah is super into dinosaurs right now and so um, I wanted to go with something that he really liked even though this page is not for him. This page is for my mom. Um, I created a layout for her with his photo on it and another layout with my niece's little girl on it the first year um, just after they were born and gave that to my mom framed it for her birthday and so for her birthday this year she asked for an updated one with uh, their current aged photos on it so that's what I am working on and I kinda wanted to capture the things that the kids were into and so I decided to go with the dinosaur theme because that is one of the things he really likes right now along with trucks and um, pretty much any animal but <laughs> I thought the dinosaurs would be fun. Now I'm using that photo there as a um, kind of a placeholder. It does get switched at the end and at this point I think I'm just going to use that one and it is a color photograph but I end up swatching, swapping it out for a photo that is mostly black and white. There are some colors in it that you can see because of the filter that I used but they're very mild like they don't stand out a lot and it takes most of the most of the photo to black and white which really makes it stand out against this particular layout because there are so many colors. Had I just left the photo the way it is, the f it kind of blends in because all of those colors in the photo are also in the background. So that's a little tip if you want to try and make your photo stand out and it, you've got a lot going on in your layout, try using a black and white filter. There's several different ones out there. Um, there's sepia, there's um, black and whites like alabaster and just a plain black and white and a vintage um, and if you use pick tap go you can adjust the um, depth of the black and white so it, that you can have a little bit more color showing or a little less color showing um, so that's what I did and you're gonna see that happen right at the very end so um, basically everything on this layout with the exception of the title and one piece of chipboard is all going to be from that Etsy shop. Again, it's Star Jam for Kids, and um, I really like how that it looks. I just printed it out on, we have a brother uh, printer, and I printed it out on 8.5 by 11. I took all the images into Photoshop, not Photoshop, PowerPoint, because that's what I'm comfortable with. Most people probably would do it in Photoshop if they are comfortable with Photoshop, but um, I have a lot of experience in PowerPoint, and so I just use that. And I pulled them in. I resized them to the sizes that I want. I don't, I pretty much kind of built the layout in PowerPoint, and then separated all the items out at the size that I like them at, and then printed them on our brother printer. And I used the Nina Solar White cardstock that I normally use for my Copic coloring. And I have a, just like a 500 sheet ream of that, so um, it's very cost effective for me to use that because I use it for a lot of different things. 
So that little piece with all those little, like, they look like little bubbles that I'm working on there. I just broke a little piece off and put it over behind the volcano just to bring some of that color over there. And I, there's a lot of layers going on behind um, these, behind the photograph and behind the foreground. So lots of different textures. And then I will end up bringing in some adhesive that is dimensional and popping up some of the tips of those leaves so that it stays dimensional. Now I'm looking for something down to put by these rocks because those three rocks across there, they look like they're just kind of like shoved in there. They don't really have a lot of dimension. They don't have, um, I don't know, they look too perfectly placed if that makes sense. Um, I want it to look a little bit more haphazard, like they kind of fell into that spot. And so um, I will fix that in just a few moments. So that little uh, dinosaur that is on the left hand side and the triceratops that is on the right hand side, those are going to be popped up onto foam tape. And the reason I chose these particular dinosaurs, because there are several that you could get from that particular shop. Um, I chose these three because those are the three that are the favorites of his family. So the long neck is his favorite, the triceratops is his dad's, uh, dad's favorite, and then I think the other one is called like a Pachycephalosaurus or something like that. I don't know, the little purpley one. That one's his mom's favorite. <laughs> so you can see I just added another little rock there. It looks a little bit better. Still working on that area and then still tucking in leaves behind. Um, when you do printables like this, don't be afraid to cut them apart. Use them where you need them, especially if they're not exactly in the right size. And it, uh, if you're not um, familiar with my channel, you may not know that uh, the acrylic block, I'm just using that to kind of hold things in place while they... Uh, while the adhesive sets because I'm using a liquid adhesive. So that's something I do quite often. It kind of frees up my hands to do some other things while um, the adhesive becomes tacky. So the, um, let's see here, the pterodactyl. Um, I'm putting that guy up at the top. It just needed some more interest up at the top. I know there's so much going on in this layout. And once I swap that photo over, I think it, it works really well. Um, the pterodactyl. I don't know. I don't really have a favorite, but I do like pterodactyls. So I thought, oh, I'll just put the pterodactyl up there to represent my favorite. Um, cause I guess if I had to choose one, that might be the one. I don't know. <laughs> so you can see, I'm just using some, uh, of that yellow foam adhesive and that's just the cheap craft foam from Walmart. It's adhesive on one side and the other side, I just use a little bit of liquid glue to hold it in place. And I like how it's looking. And then I am trying, while I'm thinking about doing all of this, I am also thinking about what my title is going to be and where I'm going to place my title and what I'm going to use for my title. So I'm kind of thinking about those things as I go. And then I want to make sure all of those areas that have the foam adhesive, that they are stuck down really well. And so I'm kind of playing with that tucking more under just to create more texture. And one of the reasons I'm doing that is because the frame that these are going on that doesn't have a huge gap in front of it. It's not like a, a shadow box type frame. Um, I have created a little bit of extra gap with it by putting a couple spacers in front or between the, the glass front and the actual layout. But um, in order for it to keep any bit of dimension it does have to be popped up because there is going to be a little bit of pressure on it from uh, being inside that frame so hopefully that makes makes sense to you I'm just going to keep working on getting those things placed around here and now I'm working on my little rock area down below I flipped one of them over kind of playing with that idea, seeing what I like better, and trimming off the stuff that's hanging over the edge on the right-hand side there. And um, I know I have to trim off the left-hand side. And a lot of times I do frame these types of layouts in a black border or something like that, but I am not doing that in this particular case because when it gets put into the frame, the frame is black and it pr provides that black border, so I don't really need to do that. So I added a, another rock down at the bottom there, and I'm just adding the words wild child down here, and I really like how that looks. 
and those are just chipboard so I'm gonna to have to add a little bit of adhesive to those to make sure that they stay and then uh, from that same thicker sheet I am going to pull a piece that says my kind of kid and that is going to be up at the right hand corner of the photo and I'm gonna stick it on there but uh, before anything is actually uh, dry I will pull it off and swap out the photo and I know that look that photo looks like it's super tucked in there, but um, <laughs> I, I do still manage to pull it out so that we can make it black and white. <laughs> and I think it I do really think it looks a lot better. Um, I don't know if you are accustomed to doing this type of a layout. I do have another one of these that's going up on my channel later um, in the month, uh, which has my niece's little girl in it, and it's completely different. It's a farm scene. So be on the lookout for that if this kind of thing interests you. And I hope that you've enjoyed this layout. Thank you so much for spending time with me today. If you did like the layout, you can go ahead and give a thumbs up down below. I really appreciate it. And thank you so much for subscribing if you're subscribed. And if you're not already subscribed, I'd love for you to hit that button. And um, stay tuned because I'll have more inspiration for you later this month. I'll talk to you guys next time. Have a great day and take care. Bye-bye now.